Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. So today we are going to be looking at a different hair care product. So this one we are looking at today is Dr. Pawpaw. It does it all 7-in-1 hair treatment styler. Now, this is a product which I recently came across when I was out and about on my journeys. Um, and I am always on the lookout for a product which can help keep my hair in really good condition or either can help my hair look fuller or can help my hair look thicker or help the growth or of course where I manipulate my hair quite a lot into different styles like for example today often it takes a lot of heat and it can take a lot of effort to get those styles in place particularly when you have finer textured hair which I do so if any of those type of products sort of jump out at me then I will absolutely buy them have a go at them and then if I think that they're fantastic or if they're not so good then I will do a review on them and it's just an interest of mine it's something which I really enjoy doing today I have to admit is a bit of a mixed impression I have to admit but on the whole it's a little bit of a product which I'm still not to be quite honest with you sure what the product is meant to do now that sounds strange I know but we're going to go through that so Dr. Poor, Poor, it does it all. Okay, so it says it does it all, 7-in-1 hair treatment styler, multi-use hair care cream with natural pawpaw. Now, for a product which says with natural pawpaw, I have not an idea what pawpaw is. Um, I've had a look on the back when I was in the store, I had a quick read on the back here, and on the ingredients, the thing I can kind of pick out from the back here is that it has papaya fruit extract in here, it has hydrogenized keratin in here, hydrogenized wheat protein in here, and it has aloe vera juice. So we know that aloe vera juice is really, really good for looking after the scalp, really, really good for keeping moisture and moisture retention in the hair and the scalp. Now, in terms of the hydrogenized wheat protein and the hydrogenized keratin, we know that very, very often that that is in products which are designed for finer texture, thinner textured hair. So I thought, fantastic. As soon as I seen that, I thought the pawpaw must be a combination of something in the back there in those ingredients. So first things first, smell absolutely incredible it smells like a really luscious fruit smell in fact something which actually did make me remember is when i was very small i used to and i've always spent a lot of time with my nan and i remember my nan going into like a green grocer's with lots of fruits and vegetables and things in there and the smell always stays with me that's what it reminds me of so it's really fruity it's really luscious it's a really lovely smell so that's really really nice in terms of cost now i paid just around about the five pounds mark for this um now i didn't know if that was a cheap or if that was or what that would be and it was only until recently i was actually having a look on um, next website getting prepared for the festive season i'm always very very early in getting my christmas uh, prepared i have so much to do so i was having a look on there and as i was going through different ideas i came across this product and that was 11 pounds don't quote me on that because time you have a look at it, it might well be varied in price but I thought from that I thought that I got quite a good bargain for that um, and it's in the same measurement as well so this is a hundred mils and that was a hundred mils which I seen on the website as well and of course that's based here in the UK so Dr. Pawpaw it does it all seven in one hair treatment styler so I thought naturally this would be great for finer textured hair or for thinner textured hair I thought possibly it was great for volume and of course because I am an avid user of um, a hair dryer or a hair straightening iron or something like that to really manipulate my hair into a style which I really like to wear very often if you if you've seen my channel I like a lot of volume in my hair I like a lot of structure I like different sort of um, funky pieces sort of off to the side like a lot of volume on one side and then swooped over very often because of my hearing aids and lots basically going on so I like a product which works hard and I like a product which looks after my hair as well but ultimately gives me that great finish and what lasts throughout the day but also takes care of my scalp and my hair this is where it gets interesting so I have tried this in every scenario which it says here so it's seven in one heat treatments uh heat sorry seven in one hair treatment styler number one heat protection number two reduces split ends number three detangler number four leave-in hair treatment number five reduces frizz and smooths number six blow dry styling aid number seven adds shine now the clip which we're doing now i had all intentions of doing this yesterday evening and on the, i've tried this about five times now and I'll be very honest, I have not been able to get on with it. 
at all. I've not been able to get on with it at all. Um, and I've tried this in every instance. First thing in the morning after freshly shampooed and conditioned hair. I've tried it sort of throughout the day if I've got like a bit more of a dry textured style like what I've got today. I've tried it in the evening, spraying a little bit of sort of uh, leave-in spray to help my hair because I have got lightened pieces in my hair. And of course, blonder tones need a lot more looking after. And it says on here that it's a leave-in hair treatment. I've tried it before using the blow dryer as well because it says it's a heat protection and it says that it's a blow dry styling aid and it adds shine. Okay, so let's work through one by one. So the reason why I couldn't do the clip last night is because my hair was in such a mess after spraying this through, it was absolutely like straw. I could not get a comb through it at all. And that's very, very unlike me. I have very soft, very flat, fine textured hair, quite a lot of it. But the problem I have is getting texture into my hair. So it was really, really difficult and there was not a chance in hell I was going to be doing a clip with showing such really bad conditioned hair. And this spray seemed as though that it just made my hair like rope. It seemed to make my hair knotty. It seemed to make it like as dry as anything. It was, quite frankly, awful. I tried it again this morning a little bit and it was an absolute nightmare trying to get my hair into a style. I find that when you spray this in as a heat protectant spray, it goes cakey, it leaves your hair slightly greasy but dry and knotty at the same time. I find that if you're spraying it in your hair as like a leave-in treatment, straight away the amount of resistance you get in your hair, it's never worth it because it makes your hair dull, cakey and just downright nasty. Um, reduces split ends? I don't know, I haven't used it long enough and I don't intend to either. Um, a detangler? No way in hell would this product be a detangler because this has been an absolute nightmare for me to use um, and it certainly wouldn't be something I would use again um, and to be quite honest with you if it's not going in the back of the cupboard it's probably going to be going in the bin. So um, I apologise for that and anybody else who has had a fantastic experience with Dr Paul Paul I would love to know what your secret is because I've tried this every which way and just know. I've even tried using this in my hair and then straightening my hair off it doesn't straighten off. It goes like you've got a cream product in your hair. Um, and it does say here, multi-use hair care cream with natural pawpaw, whatever that is. And I think that that could possibly mean the aloe vera juice in here, the hydrogenized keratin and the hydrogenized wheat protein, which is designed for root lifting products and things like that. OK, it gives volume. But that's about all it does. And I like a volume in my hair which I can actually comb through my hair, I can actually put my hair into then into a nice style. I can't even run my fingers through this, um, so really really disappointing. A leave-in hair treatment, there is no hair benefit I have had from leaving this in my hair at all. If anything, I left this in my hair last night when I woke up this morning, it was absolutely horrendous. It made my hair that dry I had to shampoo my hair three times this morning and then use tons of conditioner just to get any sensible respect of condition in my hair. So I actually think if you were using this over a long time, you'd actually be damaging your hair. So just be really, really careful with this if you are choosing to persist with this. I don't know why you would, to be quite honest with you. But if you do know my channel, I am very, very honest from my reviews. And it's not very often I have to give a bad review. But this is something which I just really do not like. The smell is incredible. Um, absolutely beautiful smell. But just not, not any benefit at all to my hair absolutely at all to my hair. Add shine, don't agree, absolutely it taints your hair, it makes your hair quite dull I find. Um, blow dry styling aid, no, no not at all, you've got a job to get a brush for your hair, or I did anyway. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about on the back here, so it says Dr Paul Paul it does it all hair treatment styler, which to be honest I've got a, I've got a, because I'm quite annoyed about it really, because I hate it when products say that, and it's kind of like they're really trying to trick the consumer or the buyer. Um, and it says, spritz this hair hero onto damp or dry locks. No need to rinse, just style and go. Really? No, I don't even know if I'm using the same product. Um, I thought possibly there was something wrong with the product, but it's not. It's just, no, not at all, not for me. Um, it does say on here that you can you can follow them on Facebook, you can do that on Twitter, um, but no, not at all. Made in Great Britain. That's about the only fantastic thing in the smell. Um, but sadly, um, 
I haven't got too much more to say about it, I'm afraid. I really wanted to love this because when I seen it on here and I thought, great, 7 and 1, especially when I seen the hydrogenized keratin and the hydrogenized wheat protein. Because I've used products with hydrogenized wheat protein before and they give amazing volume and they give amazing texture and they make the hair stand up full and high. So I thought a style like this would be great. And then, of course, if I'm using a blow dryer, if I'm using a straightener, I've got the heat protecting in here as well. No, not at all. Couldn't be further from the truth, I have to admit. So for me, this one is ultimately a no. So I won't be recommending, I'm afraid, on this one. And if you have got this one and you've had a good experience, I'd love to see your comments. Perhaps leave me a comment below if you've seen this and you've had a good experience, because for me, this is just a no-go and I wouldn't recommend this to ladies' long hair. You'd turn your beautiful hair into probably something like an absolute dried up flannel horrible um so just be really really careful with this um and sadly on that note i haven't really got too much more to say but <laughs> i have to admit i've given it a fair try i've tried it about five six maybe even seven times i think all different which ways leave-ins um using it as a heat protectant uh using it to sort of give a bit of moisture but just no on every account really so i'm really really sorry on that and i'm sorry to dr paul paul but i will not be lying and saying the product is good when it is not so thank you very much indeed for watching my clip but until next time hopefully we'll have a lot more of a positive uh clip to be doing on a review for a product but for now this is a no so enough of that and thanks very much indeed and until next time we will see you then bye for now